I'm so sorry for your loss, Brian. Your mother was a great woman. She was like my very own family. Thank you. What was your name again? Estella. Oh, Stella, that's right. Yes, it's really too sad. But on the brighter side of things, you know, my mother was a multimillionaire, and I don't have any other family members, so I'm gonna get everything in her will. Hello, everyone. I'm Albert. Her mother put me in charge of her finances. If you two are ready, we can go ahead and discuss Miss Davis' will. Yes, uh, I'd like to start with real estate. I want to sell it all. And how fast do you think I could get that money? Before I answer that, let's take a look at your mom's will. Yeah, of course. It says, I, Susan Davis, am leaving all of my cash and properties to Stella Gonzalez. Well, <laughs> Stella, the caretaker. Okay, no, that must be a mistake, all right, because I'm her only living family member. She told me she was gonna leave everything to me. Well, I'm sorry, Stella's name is what's written here. And there's also another note, and to my son. Family does not require blood. It only requires love. Okay, let me. Okay, what does this even mean? You, what did you do? Okay, tell me exactly what happened the last time you saw my mother. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. The last time I saw your mother was on her birthday. It was her birthday, so I brought her a cake. I was walking to your mom's hospital room to check up on her because her condition was getting a lot worse. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Davis. You're crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? <sighs> it's nothing, Stella. No. Please. Tell me. It's my son. I haven't seen him in years. I feel so alone. Oh, you're not alone, Miss Davis. You have me. I'll always be here for you. Hey, Mom. I, uh, I needed to talk to you about something. Oh, my son. <laughs> My beautiful baby boy, you finally came to see me. This is the best birthday gift ever. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, happy birthday, Mom. Look, I, uh, I don't have a lot of time right now, but I don't think you do either. So I think we should really talk about my future. Okay. What are you trying to say? Well, as your only living family member, I just... I wanted to make sure that you were going to leave everything to me in your will. Oh. You're here about the money. Well, you're the only family that I have. So, yes. Okay. Great. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I thought that was going to be your answer. I just wanted to come by, you know, make sure. And, yeah, on that note, I, I, I kind of have to go. But, happy birthday.
I am sad. The only time he comes to visit me is when he needs money. He doesn't even care about me. <laughs> I have no one who truly loves me, Stella. Oh, Miss Davis. You're not alone. I'm always here for you. You've always been so good to me. Why do you do so much? Well... I've always believed that family doesn't require blood. It requires love. And you're like family to me. That's really beautiful. And you're more like family to me than even my own son. So you see, that was the very last time I saw her. She died the very next morning. I know, I, I can't believe this, okay? I needed that money. It looks like you and I have a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm gonna do is build a school in Mrs. Davis's name, so that everyone can see how wonderful a woman she was. She was my family. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message about how the kindness you put out into the world always finds a way of coming back to you. Thank you for watching, and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos or tell others about them, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.